May we never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the word of the cross is the power of God to us who have been saved. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, source and origin of all fatherhood, who kept the martyr St. Andrew Donlock and his companions faithful to the cross of your Son, even to the shedding of their blood. Grant them their intercession as spreading your love among our brothers and sisters. We may be your children both in name and in truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Belshazzar gave a great banquet for a thousand of his lords with whom he drank. Under the influence of the wine, he ordered the gold and silver vessels which Nebuchadnezzar, his father, had taken from the temple in Jerusalem to be brought in so that the king, his lords, his wives, and his entertainers might drink from them. When the gold and silver vessels taken from the house of God in Jerusalem had been brought in, and while the king, his lords, his wives, and his entertainers were drinking wine from them, they praised their gods of gold and silver, bronze and iron, wood and stone. Suddenly, opposite the lampstand, the fingers of the human hand appeared, writing on the plaster of the wall in the king's palace. When the king saw the wrist and hand that wrote, his face blanched, his thoughts terrified him, his hip joints shook, and his knees knocked. Then Daniel was brought into the presence of the king. The king asked him, Are you the Daniel, the Jewish exile, whom my father the king brought from Judah? I have heard that the Spirit of God is in you, that you possess brilliant knowledge and extraordinary wisdom. I have heard that you can interpret dreams and solve difficulties. If you are able to read the writing and tell me what it means, you shall be clothed in purple, wear a gold collar about your neck, and be third in the government of the kingdom. Daniel answered the king, You may keep your gifts or give your presents to someone else, but the writing I will read for you, O king, and tell you what it means. You have rebelled against the Lord of heaven. You had the vessels of his temple brought before you, so that you and your nobles, your wives and your entertainers might drink from them. And you praised the gods of silver and gold, bronze and iron, wood and stone, that neither see nor hear nor have intelligence. But the God in whose hand is your life breath and the whole course of your life you did not glorify. By him were the wrist and hand sent, and the writing set down. This is the writing that was inscribed, Mean, Tekel, and Pears. These words mean, Mean, God has numbered your kingdom and put an end to it. Tekel, you have been weighed on the scales and found wanting. Pears, your kingdom has been divided and given to the Medes and Persians. The word of the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. 
Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. All you winds, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. They will leave, have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead to your giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand. For I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will be even handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends. And they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. A few years ago, uh, I read the story of Jeremiah Denton, who I think retired as an admiral. Uh, the book, if my memory serves me correctly, was uh, When Hell Was in Session. Uh, and it told about his experiences as a prisoner of war uh, and during the Vietnam War. He, if you remember, he was the Allied, the American flyer who used Morse code during an interview to blink the word torture uh, when they were vi filming the, the, uh, his, his uh, interrogation. Now I could use my imagination to, to imagine what he described if I'm not mistaken, the book showed some illustrations of some of the things he went through. I can read about other experiences. Sorry. I can read about other experiences of prisoners. I can watch movies or television programs that can show me uh, what life would be like or what life was like as imagined uh, by those who produce and direct and star in those productions. We can have organizations that can simulate what it would be like to experience those things. If I'm not mistaken, uh, some of the uh, groups for the America for the United States, like CIA, things like that, they will simulate for their potential candidates what it's like in those experiences. All that being said, nothing can truly convey to you or I that the 
despair of the individual who is uh, placed in that type of position. The, uh, the animalistic behavior that must take place by some people who are in worse positions, the cruelty that could be inflicted upon those in those positions by their captors or their guards. The darkness, the despair, the gloom, the hopelessness, all these things so heavy in that environment like a very dense fog upon the land. It just hangs there. It is something you can't escape from. In the midst of all of that, you have these martyrs of the church, Andrew and others. In our office of reading, we read a letter from one of the martyrs in the prisons. Uh, Paul, and excuse me, my Vietnamese is terrible, so I won't even bother to go there to say his last name. But it's in the office of readings for this morning. And he describes how in the midst of all of that, he experiences a warmth and a joy in his heart because he knows he's not alone. He knows Christ is with him. And that's one of the beautiful things that we often forget. The presence of Christ with us. No matter what we go through, it could be myself sitting at home comfortable in a nice house or rectory. Uh, I've got food, I've got warmth, or if it's summer, I've got the air conditioner for cool. I'm protected, I've got police, you know, a fire. So I can read the stories of those who suffered through these miserable conditions, but I can't experience it. I, I'm half a world away and I'm doing well. But they who went through it, they experienced Christ in a very profound and a real way. They experienced Jesus who was locked in the prison awaiting his horrible passion. What they go through, they know they're not alone. Christ went through it himself. Christ is with me very much present. He knows exactly where I'm going, what I'm going through. And now I can embrace his cross in a very real way because I too know what he went through in a very profound way, in a way that is different from so many others. And so joined and united with Christ at that moment, embracing the cross at that moment. These early martyrs, and it's not only these martyrs of Vietnam, you can look at martyrs throughout our history, 2000 year history, from all different parts of the world. And you can see why, no matter what they went through, they went through it with a sense of joy. I am not alone, Christ is with me. And the pains, the tortures inflicted upon them, although I am sure, humanly speaking, it had to be just horrific, the degree of pain, the psychological uh, destruction that occurred within themselves, all of these things being said, that they went, to their death with joy in their heart, love of their captor, forgiveness for those who inflicted anything, any harm to them bodily, emotionally, spiritually, psychologically, 
all this, they were able to forgive and sow the seeds by their blood for a faith to continue to grow. So whatever we endure today, whether it be a paper cut, a hangnail, whatever, whether it be the person who's just rude to us, it doesn't matter. Christ is present for he went through the same things that we did. He may not have ever received a paper cut, but he knew what it was like to be in pain and to hurt. He knew what it was like to suffer loss, grief. He knew what it's like to see those darkest moments in humanity. And that's where he is there to reach out the healing hand to help us. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for Archbishop Paul, priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day, and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters. You who watch this Mass on video, and those of you here present in our church today at St. Bridget, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for all of our holy souls, especially those names who are placed upon our altars during this month of November, for their souls and the consolation of their families, and for all souls in purgatory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude the prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to the, the Father, Lord, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you for the divine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Bless you, God, forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Holy Father, the offerings we bring as we venerate the passion of the holy martyrs, so that amid the trials of this life we may always be found faithful and may offer ourselves to you as an acceptable sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, we are glorified with the saints of praise, the very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give order to their faith, to their endurance, and grant firm resolve. In their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all those of angels, proud, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, 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 Lord,
You're indeed, O oh, Lord, the font of all the limits. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, they pray, that the sound of the Spirit upon them, like the that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and willingly into his passion. He took bread and of giving thanks for it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. And in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the child. So once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking up the body and blood of Christ and may be gathered into one of the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all that have died in mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the sacred command of form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant for peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. To await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus. Christ. For the kingdom of God and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look down on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word of my soul. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven.
Let us pray. Renewed by the one bread as we commemorate the holy martyrs, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that abiding as one in your love, we may merit by endurance an eternal cross through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him when we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the unusual spirits, who wander about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Divine grace, protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be your holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be your glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, our most holy spouse. Blessed be God and His angels, saints and saints.